Hello, welcome. You're watching RT International. Now, there is a Russian propaganda virus, according to an advisor speaking to the US House Committee on Foreign Affairs. Russia and this channel RT has been accused of a misinformation campaign that, quote, attempts to undermine and discredit Western democratic institutions. We start to view Russian propaganda like a virus. To stop this virus, we should treat it like one. So curing those who may have been exposed, defending people by educating citizens to protect themselves and others, and disarming it or finding a vaccine. U.S. lawmakers and the expert witnesses that they invited to testify before Congress claimed that Russian propaganda, in which they include this channel RT, is an affront to democracy. Apparently, in Mr. Doran's view, which many lawmakers at that hearing seemed to share, everybody who does not think like them needs to be cured. They said people need to be protected from Russian disinformation. How do you do that? Maybe for starters, listening to the distinguished panelists. WikiLeaks is the most well-known platform for Russian intelligence to distribute their stolen material. The coordination of the two tactics was exposed several times during the U.S. presidential campaign when RT or Sputnik ran a story based on hacked material hours before the material was posted on WikiLeaks. Even Russian spies make mistakes. Except Mr. Baer's statement itself was disinformation. WikiLeaks published the material on their website, which RT caught very quickly and tweeted about it, and then came the WikiLeaks tweet. The fact is that the material itself was published on the WikiLeaks website before RT tweeted about it. This was easy to verify. So the statement that former U.S. official Daniel Baer made there was false. And at the hearing, it went unchallenged. By the way, lawmakers and panelists at the hearing kept saying Russian disinformation without giving specific examples. The other thing that sounded like disinformation was several members of Congress widely speculating about the infamous anti-Trump dossier, which no official body has verified. And that so-called dossier is full of incendiary, completely unsubstantiated accusations. So my takeaway from the hearing was that the lawmakers and the panelists cried disinformation while spreading disinformation themselves. Jan Shikian reporting there. Well, we spoke to author and political commentator Lou Rockwell, and he says it looks like an attempt to curb free speech. They would like to block outside radio and television. They're just like They already control all the domestic stations. Very tough to fight it. It has, uh, you know, not only global ambitions, it wants to be the global government, it wants to be the government of the solar system. Who knows? Probably wants to be the government of the universe. They love the control. They love being able to listen to everybody's phone calls. They love being able to find out about everything that everybody says and does. For those of us who care, uh, I must say about the continuation of life on Earth, we don't want this kind of thing going on. It's already far more uh, belligerent than it even was during the Cold War. We on the, this side have to... President keep calling for peace, for keep calling for sanity, keep calling for reason. And all these people are trying to call you a traitor if you're not for war against Russia. Um, they're just despicable and they should be thrown out of public life.